Hey guys, it's CSB 001 here, working at what I believe is part 74 of the uh, Fallout 3 All Missions Walkthrough Commentary. I uh, got a weapon to describe. The backwater rifle that we got last video is the, the unique version of the lever action rifle. AP of 30, damage of 47, it uses 10mm rounds, has a clip of 7 and a weight of 10. Even though it is pretty heavy, it is very powerful if you're going to be using the lever action. I still prefer the Lincoln Repeater. Coming through. The Lincoln Repeater is just a little bit better. So now we are going, we have two side quests left to finish. We are only going to have time to finish Click Safari as we do. I don't think we're going to have time to finish the other ones. So he basically breeds ghouls so that people can then fight them. Uh, don't fall off, or I don't, I don't think you can get back up. So you're number three. Well, Mr. Click has really outdone himself this time. And we're here with a couple of other ghouls. Well, not ghouls, actually, uh, friendly guys. Look at the Chinese Assault Rifle. It's now doing 86 damage. And it's not even maxed out or full condition yet. Yeah. So, when you are ready, hit the button. We are ready. You, you would be wise to set down some mines. I'm not going to do that because I don't feel like wasting the time on it. These guys are not going to survive long, unfortunately. Now, luckily, you're not going to be fighting any leavers while you're down here. So you don't have that to worry about. It definitely makes life easier. But you're going to have to kill about 20 or 30 of these guys, unfortunately. You're, you know, these guys don't survive that long. You might be sad. Yep, that one's already dead. Bulls aren't exactly doing a lot of damage to us, though. I think I pushed one off a cliff. Well, that one's still alive. Okay, cool. I'm not sure what would happen if one of those guys survived. I've never. I haven't had one of them. I haven't had one of them survive before, so I doubt that they will. It's unfortunate that you have to do this quest. It's really, really annoying. And it takes a while, and it just it involves a lot of killing. But hey, it's gonna give us some uh, money. Let's pair that with the lever action rifle. Let's use the backwater rifle a little bit since we just got it, eh? If this guy somehow manages to survive, I'm definitely gonna let him live. I mean, I'm not gonna kill him or anything. Like I did to Desmond. This one's a ghoul. This guy's a human. Humans are superior. Or we're supposed to... I don't want to hit his arm. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. There are a few bear traps as well. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. There are some traps laying around that you have to worry about, unfortunately. Is that it? Really? I guess that's it. That was that did not take as long as it did last time, I swear. That was, that was a lot faster. Oh, no, that's not it. Hey. Wait, did you see another? Find you. Oh, you can find this path. Okay. Lions help if you got them. And you're welcome, by the way. You know, for saving your ass. Yeah, because you really did a lot in that, didn't you? Well, that was actually really easy. That was a lot easier than it was last time. I mean, I could have sworn I'm still on normal difficulty. I really hope that I am. I should be, yeah, still on normal difficulty. That's weird. That was a lot easier. Tremendous! Let's commemorate your... This axe was... misplaced. I want to... The dismemberer! Nice! Your enthusiasm is flattering. So you can come back and do it again in a few days. But since he stole a thousand caps from us, I am not losing a thousand freaking caps. Make that 1800 for that matter. So he's got a few knuckles there. And that is Plix Safari completed. Well, that was actually, uh, yeah, a lot faster than I expected. And we got the dismember unique axe. 
Four quests down, one to go. I'm gonna set it for the radar. Radar map. Okay, come on, hit the right button, thank you. Darkheart and Blackhall, once we finish this, we are done with Point Lookout. I think it's gonna take about one and a half videos. But, that is it. What happens if... So you don't... Yeah, they don't show it. The Crib Betany. Ah, uh, you can... At the end of this, the book that you're gonna have to retrieve, you can give it to that girl that told you to bring it to her. You don't want to do that. Because you're then gonna have to return to the Wasteland, do something stupid in the Dunwick building near uh, Tenpenny Tower. This is technically like west of Tenpenny Tower. And it's really, really annoying. Like, there's absolutely no point of doing it. <sighs> there's enemies nearby, really? Oh, it's a freaking, you know what, like a mile or something. Oh, great. Now there's... Now there's one over there, too. Great. To kill stuff. I just want to complete this quest. I just want to complete this stupid DLC. Never return ever again. I don't know if I'm ever going to play through the game fully again. <laughs> Shot to the face for death. Uh, let's see. Let's just head over to the House of Wares. Maybe make a few caps off crap that I found. Okay, got about eight minutes left in the video. I wonder if I can get through there fast enough. Because you have to kill a lot of enemies down there. And they're the really annoying brawler, trawler type enemies that take forever to kill. But once we complete that, we just have to get back to the boat landing, and then we're done. Well, actually, we'll have to go back and give the book to him, then we'll be pretty much done. Why you came to see me. what you've got. Probably nothing helpful, I'm sure, but uh Microwave Mayor. Wow, she's selling it for double as much. That's actually kind of messed up. I don't think I didn't think she was gonna have anything, but I do want to sell some of my stuff. I'm just gonna keep the uh dismemberer in my inventory for the moment, just so I can remember to get rid of it, or just so I can remember to give it stats. just see that look at the cap number five digits ten thousand twenty six caps not too shabby eh, it's only ten thousand though I would kind of I would like to hit twenty thousand by the end of this walkthrough and I think that's definitely possible I would love to hit twenty thousand by the end of the walkthrough I don't know if I will but I guess we'll see Okay, something metal just, or a robot just died nearby. Yeah, 10,000 caps. That's that's pretty freaking good for this point in the game. Normally, I I would care to have just a little bit more, maybe about 12, 13,000, but hey, 10,000 ain't bad. And if you freeze again, game, I'm not going to be pleased. Oh, yeah, it did. It did. Well, the sound's still going. I'm going to give it a few seconds. It's clear that tonight is one of those nights the game's just going to freeze multiple times on me because this is it's being recorded in the same session as that first freeze was. So, yeah, looks like we're going to get another freeze. Well, that's unfortunate, guys. I was really hoping that wouldn't happen, but at least it happened around 10 minutes into the video. So, uh, But since that's going on, I might as well just go on and use this time to talk about the uh, other weapon that we found. That would be the Dismemberer. It is a unique version of the axe with an AP of 30. It, the Killing Blow could sometimes restore 5 AP. It does a damage of 25 and has a weight of 6. And it's not bad if you, you know, use melee weapons, which I don't. So, anyway, 
Uh, I guess that's going to be it for this video, guys, unfortunately. So, it looks like... But, next video should be the last video of Point Lookout. So, I will see you guys then for the end of Point Lookout, hopefully.